Hello YouTube, it's me Maddie Makes here with another video for you today. I'm so excited. I learned something new. I thought I'd real quick share it with you um, because I was doing it, uh, um, you know, I'm not a, a Canva pro by any means. I'm just learning as I go along. And so, um, yeah, I keep learning new things and I get excited. So we're going to quick create a design and we're just going to go with letter. So what we're creating today is a checklist. Now, I've you, you, if you've seen my videos, you've seen I have I've created checklists, but it's painful, y'all, um, the way I cr create them. So I'll give you an ex example of what I usually do. Okay, we go to elements, and we're gonna say maybe a square. And I'm gonna put that over there. So it would go something like this, right? And this is just for demonstration purposes. We're not going to actually use any of this. We get the square, or I would get the square. Make it really small. Go back in. Get a line like this. Uh-oh. Grab the line that I like. Move it over here. What happened to my square? My square, so here, we got to make that a little... You know, I'm getting older. I can't see like that. Okay. And we will go like this. Something like this, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Move it over a little bit more. And then I would typically highlight it all, copy it, and then paste it. And I would keep going down the line until I had my, um, you know, had these... in place as much as I could, okay? But it's really a pain to make sure that you align them. You see how the lines keep? So if you have a whole page of that, that gets a little bit frustrating to keep trying to get them in the right place, all right? So what I learned today, so let's let's get rid of this because we don't need this. What we're gonna do today is since it's back to school time, I decided to create a back to school checklist for little kids, for the little kids. And so, um, I found an easier way. So let's take a look. We're going to go back to elements. And this time we're going to search for table. And then you get all these tables, right? Right? This is getting good. And so I'm going to click on one. And then what I'm going to do, because I'm just going to start this checklist while we talk. And then I'm going to, first of all, before I get to this, I'm going to change this color because I'm going to make all of these white, okay? So I'm going to change the background to something kid-friendly, maybe an orange. Is that too too much? Maybe a green? I like them both. Okay, so, and I might change that later. I'm going to highlight this. So you highlight it, and then when you highlight it, you come over here to the box, and you're going to go white. And then I am going to right click on it and I'm going to say uh, delete uh, column. So instead of three now, I have two, right? So if you didn't know, see how my, if you look here, can you guys see this? Because sometimes it could be hard to see. My, my, my little mousy thing, when it gets over this middle line here, it tells you that it, you can move this. Okay, so now I have my check boxes and then I have my big box. Okay, okay, so now it's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. We're gonna move it over here. Now, if you look at this, it's lovely. The, the, the chart is already sized, it doesn't come apart. Um, I don't have to measure anything, I don't have to do any of that. So, all I have to do is at this point. Click on this and say, right click again, add a row after. Okay? And and you're, this is going to be based on how many things you want to put on your checklist. Okay? So for my purposes, my life, my mine is pretty long. So I'm going to keep going. Oops. Doesn't really matter. And I'm going all the way to the bottom, y'all. Add a row after. 
add a row after. And I might have to add some more later in a few minutes anyway. Okay, so now we got that part done. Now what we want to do, because I think this is a little bit too big, so I'm going to slim it up a little bit. There we go. That's probably about as big as I need it to be, right? So then I'm going to click here, go back, and add row after one more time, add row after. Okay, so that's pretty decent to me. Everything is properly formatted. I can make my checklist, all right? And this might actually be a little bit too big because y'all know what? I forgot I got to put a heading on here. So let me bring this in a little bit. I'm, I'm just forgetful today. I guess I didn't. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click again and we'll delete the row. And we'll do that again. Delete the row. Because how am I going to put something at the top of the paper, right? Um, I'm slipping. All right, click back on it. And then we're going to move it down and judge just how much room we have at the top. I think we have enough to do what we want to do. Okay, so now move this over a little bit. I'm going to pull out my, um, turn on my rulers, uh, show my margin. That's what I want to do. I want to kind of stay inside the margin because somebody, some people like I always tell you, like to put holes in things. And when they put the holes in things, we need to have, give, be able to have space over here, if that makes sense, for them to put the holes without sabotaging whatever's written here, okay? All right, so we got all that done. So the next thing that we're going to do is, this is kind of plain, right? So we need to define our checks box our checkbox, make it a little bit bolder, I guess is what I'm saying. And so I'm going to start off on the first one and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the color box and I'm going to click on black because I want the box to be black. You can see it there. Now you can also go here and it's a little light for me. So I would go back over here and I would change the weight. It says border style. You can change the style if you want or add the weight. And I'm going to add it three and hit enter. You can move this little nozzle here, but I don't have good hand control like that sometimes. So this is um, uh, still a little too dark now. I made it a little too dark. So I'm going to go in between one and three, and we're going to go back and do two. That's perfect to me. Okay, so now we have to do that to all of these right here. So we're going to click on the box, right? And then we're going to hold the shift key and we're going to click on the rest. Just like that. And then we're going to go back and we're going to go back here again, make them black. And then go back over here and make them all to two, hit enter. We click off, we now see that each one of our boxes, right? Each one of our boxes are now bordered in black. Perfect little check boxes. Okay, now this I'm going to, these are the, the white boxes are, is where we're gonna type, okay? So now just so you know, I'm gonna, do this kind of similar thing I did here, but now this is where we're typing what our um, what's on our supply list. So the first one we can start with is um, we're going to click in the box, and we're just going to start typing. Notice you see nothing. I struggled with that for a while, <laughs> but it is there. Okay. So the problem is is that the font color is is white. So we got to do some things up here. We're going to change the font color to black. We're going to bump up the font size. I'm thinking to 14. I'm not sure I like this font. I'm not an open sans person. Um, I had some, some kid friendly font, but I, got so many fonts in here. I don't let me just see. 
oh, you know what I could use? Maybe my pencil. Fine. Oopsie. Okay, I'm tripping. L. Here, pencil font letters regular. There we go. I like that. Okay. And so the same thing applies though. We want to hold down the shift key and start clicking all the way down. So once you get there, you want to change this again to pencil font. And you want to make sure that the color is black. And you want to make sure that you put 14 in here because that's what we said in the first box. Okay. So as we, and we click off. So now when we go in here, I just double click. Okay. Um, we can start typing supplies that are on the supply list. Um, and you could put, like I would put on here pencils. I guess I should put slash pencil case, right? Because we don't need to take up a whole line. When you find the pencils, the pencil case is going to be next to it. And then we go over here and we're going to keep going down the list. And maybe we need a pencil sharpener. I don't have little kids anymore. I got teenagers, y'all. So I'm totally trying to remember sharpener. And we're going to have... Um, Ballpoint pens. We're going to have, can y'all see that? Let me bring it up to you a little bit more. There we go. That looks better. Um, I think you can see that better. We're going to put um, erasers, notebooks, oh, typos. Uh, folders, three ring binder, uh, what else do they need? Do they still use book covers? We'll put it on here. Little kids do, don't they? Highlighters. I can't spell L I G H. And then we're going to do some maybe um, index cards. What else we got? Uh, crayons. Markers. Okay. So now we have done our checklist, you guys. And I don't want it to be like that. I want all the words to be able to. Nope. I'm going to pull it back out. Right there. Now, for myself, I would feel like this was not a... Um, what am I trying to say? I would feel like this this, this is not a, a um, I would need another one, okay? So what I could do is highlight it, copy, paste, and boom, we got two, right? And so then we have our other check checklist to start over here. And you could just go in here and delete these and type whatever you want to type next. So for me, it's going to be lunchbox, uh, water bottle, and then uh, what else we got? Colored pencils. I should have put that on the other side, but I'll change it later. You get the point. I'm trying to keep the the um, classroom glue stick. 
And remember what I said, you write out everything down that you want to put, you guys. And then um, safety scissors. And then we have um, construction paper, good old construction paper. And I think that's all I got. Now, what I would do for these, because to me, this is just a basic, um, what I want to say, y'all. This is just a basic a basic kind of um, list. Now, I leave these blank because people are already, you know, may, may have things that they want to add in here on their own, okay? Families have different needs. Communities have different requirements. So this would be where I would leave it blank. Um, I'm giving you the basics. Now you add whatever else you want, okay? And then what I want to do is I need to, this is just for me, group this. I like to make my life easy. And then when I group it, I want to move it because it doesn't look centered to me. There, now it's centered, okay? You could tell because um, you saw the line vertically and horizontally, okay? So now we're not done. This is just the list. We got to make this look like something special, right, for, for the kids. Cause you know how the kids like to go to school. I mean, like to go to the store with mom and then, you know, they got to, at least my daughter, she's a teenager and she still likes to do that. Um, go pick out her supplies. So we have this now, and I want to point this out cause I'm going to have to do this over if I can't fix it. Notice how this, when, when I, when I pulled this out, or I'm sorry, when I pushed it in, it made the pencil, the pencil case go under the pencils and the sharpener go under the pencil. When it did that, it expanded the boxes. It made them bigger. So if you look real close, they're not in a, they're not the same size anymore. Where it's a long, a long sentence or a long word, they're not the same size as the others are anymore. Okay. But I, that for the purposes of this video, I want you to just take note that if that can happen to you, you got to be careful not to make your letters go underneath each other when you're making these columns, because it doesn't look like, and I'm not sure if maybe somebody knows y'all let me know in the bottom in the um, notes. Um, Canva doesn't appear to be, to realize that I have re-expanded re it and adjusted the, the um, Canva didn't adjust the boxes accordingly. Okay. Just, I'm just saying, just so you know, I'm not sure how to do that. I mean, perhaps, yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. I'm not going to worry about it. I wanted you to take note of it because, you know, again, as we go along, I'm learning. Now what I would do is I would go to back to elements. And I think I would go to um, frames. And I'm going to grab me a frame because I'm going to put these in a frame. And yeah, we can go with this. I'm going to grab this frame, put it here, and then I'm going to send backward. Same thing here. Send backward, okay? And then I should be able to, now that it's in the frame, it all comes together. Move this, what I was trying to do, I was hoping it would work, but perhaps it won't work. But let's try, let's try to work on this frame here and get this frame to do what we need it to do. Move the frame up in Canva. Okay, there's no point in doing it because it's not doing what I wanted to do. So that part of the vehicle, this video, just ignore. What I'm gonna do though is make this fancy or fancier, right? So I had already uploaded some clip art and I'm just gonna show you what, you know. So I would do something like up here, 
Up here, I would go ahead and add some text. And I'll put a heading and it would say something like, remember, I'm doing this over. So pay me no mind. Back to school. Hi, Liz. And then I would take that and move it up here. So we got that. I'm not caring, filling that font. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take out pencil because we don't need that anymore. And let me see if we can't find something fun. How about wedges? Hey, wedges looks good. So now we have our, our um, back to school supply list. Click off of that. It looks like it's centered, so we're good. I knew that because I looked up here. We'll just click it and go back, make sure that it is centered, but it's cool. So now we have our back to school list, but you know, this font color, I'm just not feeling that either. It doesn't look fun, does it, for kids? So let's go back in here. And before I change it, let's go get some of that clip art that we have. Add some more fun to this. Uh, let's go to uploads. And we have a book bag. Oh, that's a whole little set. I'm not sure I want it like that. Books? That is too. So that maybe that's what we're going to have to deal with today. They are adorable, aren't they? So we're going to use them today. We're going to use them down here in the corner. I don't really care about the little spaceshipy thing. So I'm going to bypass that. <clears throat> or maybe I'm not. Okay. Now let's go back up. I don't feel like I don't feel like cropping it because I'm not going to use this today. I could crop it and get rid of all of this, and I will on the final document. But remember, I said I got to go back and change those boxes, so I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it for now. I just want to show you guys how to just fancy it up a little bit, okay? So I have this clip art. I put this little clip art on here, um, and then I am going to uh, send backward because I don't want it to cover up my word. So I send it back backward and I might just uh, go up here and reduce the transparency just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Click off of that. So we have that. All right. And then I have, what else I got down here? I have maybe a pair of scissors. That's cool. We got some scissors. And we can just throw some scissors in here. Uh oh, click off, click on. Take the scissors, move them over here somewhere. For these, I guess I feel like I need to rotate them around. And maybe you want to put this up here somewhere. And with the scissors, maybe you want to add this ruler. Go on and add this ruler up there, like this. OK, we got books. Let's go ahead and add the books up here. And again, I would rotate those a little bit. Maybe I rotate them that way. Yeah, I would do that. And then I send it backward. 
I don't want it to cover my letters. Okay, you get the idea though. You can get some clip art from any place like Creative Fabrica, um, something like that. Google some free clip art, right? At the uh, clip art library or, or free pics and get your clip art and dress it up how you want to dress it up, okay? And then now that we kind of got some colors in here, you can start thinking about, well, what do I want these letters to look like? You can even add some um, effects to the letters, right? We could do something like this or something like this. That's cool. We could do this. Right? Uh, we could do this. So you can figure out how you want to, um, let's see what Echo does. Now that's a little bit too busy for me. Let's just do none. Okay, so I don't really want to right now change effects. So what I want to do is just change the color for sure. And now one thing about Canva is when you go in here, that they, they can pick up the colors that are in some of your um, your clip art, okay? And so they give you a range of colors here. So pick something that you think would be appropriate. I like the that. Let's try purple. For sure, I like purple. Um, that green or dark green? This orange, did I do that one already? Okay, so you get the point again. You can pick any color that you wanna pick um, to change your, your list to. It doesn't have to stay black, all right. So now you have it, you guys. We click off of that. And that is our back to school list. Pretty good, huh? And it's so nice because you don't have to try to figure out how to put all these pieces together. Okay, with that said, that's all I have for today. I thank you for joining me. If you like what you saw, um, please, please give it a like because you know that helps. And if you want to see more things like this on my channel, you can make some, I'm sorry, make some suggestions in the bottom um, and you can subscribe. All right, until next time, my friends.